Hi, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we're going to do an unboxing of Plains Indian Wars by GMT Games, designed by John Puniski, with graphics by Terry Leeds. Um, this is a solitaire friendly game. It will play one to four, but it does have a full solo system. It's a big box, it's one of their bigger three inch boxes. It's reasonably heavy, feels like there might be some room in there. Hopefully, that means there's possibly some expansions coming. Um, uh, I do like what I'm seeing with the graphics here, um, uh, the card art, the uh, the board, so on and so forth. But it does say it's high solitaire suitability and the complexity is just under medium. So let's crack it open, see what you get inside. Hey, if you're enjoying these videos, be sure to give us a like and a share. Don't forget to subscribe. And click the bell. One ringy dingy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so dig into this one here. And we will take a look. All right, I mentioned it's solitaire friendly, and when you open it up, the first thing you see is the solitaire rule book. And very excited about this because um, they've gone back, hopefully permanently, to the more matte finish that we've known and loved for some so long with GMT games. They had gone to a kind of a glossier stock lately, um, but this is that normal good paper. So the solitaire rules, the solitaire rules, yeah, come in at looks like 16 pages. 16 page book, got some designer notes, full color. Uh, it's got the solitaire scenarios in here. We got circle the wagons, the Oregon Trail. Uh, I don't see the word dysentery anywhere on here. Uh, circle the wagons, the Santa Fe Trail. Circle the wagons combined. Grab your pickaxe, the Transcontinental Railroad. Um, grab your pickaxe, the Northern Railroad. Grab your pickaxe, the Southern Railroad. Custer's Revenge, the Sioux Campaign of 1876. Uh, what else we got here? And that's it. So those are the scenarios. We've got some Solitaire Rules, Solitaire Variant 1, and there is a Solitaire Variant 2 that I already saw here. So pretty nice. Solitaire clearly was not an afterthought with this one. So then we have the regular rule book. And different graphics. So here we've got uh, you know some frontier soldiers, and then here we've got Native Americans and frontier soldiers. Love the artwork. I don't know if Terry Leeds did this art or this is classic. No, in fact, you can see here this one is by Charles Schrevogel, and then this one is unsigned, but it's beautiful. All right, so the regular rule book looks to be another 16 pager. Yeah, just 16 pages, so not rules dense. We start out with the component, the definitions, the general, you know, GMT quality, uh, most of their games. But this one supposedly has very good rules. Um, straight into setup. And then rules on the factions. Sequence of play. Dice, what the die faces mean. Here. And so it does look like uh, you got about 14, 14 pages till you get to the end of game determination. And then we have the variations, which includes the solitaire game. See the solitaire rule book. But Two player game, three player game, four player game, so on and so forth. So uh, about a 14 page rule book, but it's not very small print. It's pretty dense. There are some color pictures, but it should be pretty easy to learn. Then we have player aid. And there's, uh, unless they're buried more, there's one copy of this. And this is the standard good GMP quality coded card stock. Has your sequence of play on it and has your cube movement chart. And then we've got the game board. And we will open that 
in a little bit. And then we have our cards. Interestingly, the, the different factions, we have the Northern Plains Tribes, the U.S. Cavalry, the Southern Plains Tribes, and the Settlers, and each one is wrapped separately. Usually, normally these would come as a, you know, as a single uh, deck, you know, and then you'd, then you'd unwrap them and go through them, but that's, that's pretty interesting decision there. Now maybe you can just open the ones you need, um, or, you know, you just end up opening them all. These are the larger size, what they call tarot ugh, cards, but uh, that's the size, that's just what they're known as. Um, so there's one for each faction, so they have their own deck. And we'll pick one here, we'll do the Southern Plains Tribes. So there's 16, 15 guards per uh, faction. I would assume that's the same count. We have Cochise, play before the cavalry disc is drawn, add three cubes to one SPT region. Uh, Southern Plains Tribe region cavalry rolls one die in the, only rolls one die in those regions for the remainder of the disc draw. Although desiring peace, the Apache chief led an uprising that lasted from 1861 to 1872. And then we got Geronimo Quana Parker. A lot of history. Born of an English mother, famous Comanche chief, the last war chief of the Comanche. And Santanta, Kiowa war chief. He was at Adobe Walls. Victorio, war chief of the Membrano Apache. Buffalo Hump. Not involved in the 60s and 70s. The Comanche war chief led the greatest Comanche raid in history. In revenge for the murder of a peace delegation, the Great Raid of 1840 resulted in sacking the towns of Victoria and Linville. I just read about this in a in a, a, work, a good work of fiction, uh, Little Big Man. It was a movie with Dustin Hoffman uh, in, uh, I think, 1970 or 71. And uh, a lot of this, there was a lot of Indian history, and it was really good. It's a really good book. I recommend it. Taza, Patanokona, Big Red Meat. Horseback, Kicking Bird, I've heard of, I've heard of Kicking Bird, uh, Little Mountain, Lone Wolf, Mongus Colorados, and Lozen. And I'm probably saying these horribly, horribly wrong. But uh, anyway, so these are, you have event cards, uh, you have war party cards, add four cubes, activate three groups, move up to two regions. It kind of reminds me, and I'm, I'm not trying to do this injustice or, or anything, but it reminds me of the 1775, 1812 games from Academy. Same loosely, if you're looking to compare it to something. Um, I don't think the gameplay is necessarily the same, because that's a little, a little simpler, but uh, uh, where you, you know, you have a, a predefined deck and you draw those cards and use them for certain things. So. But they're predefined per side, per faction, so, and they do a lot of cubes and things. Okay, so there's four decks of event and action cards. We have a bag, so we're going to be drawing. Obviously, we're drawing discs is one of the options, so we have a bag. Then we have a bunch of cubes in the different faction colors. I'm not going to get those out. There's all small cubes. There's a few discs here. Uh, see a green one, an orange one, some orange ones, brown ones. So there's a disc of each. Faction color and some blue. Uh, I know there's a reference to one of those cards about cavalry disc, so these must go in the bag and be drawn this one. I'm just guessing. And then we have dice in the custom faction colors, and I assume that's what they have the custom faces. They are big dice, which I normally do not like because they start to get too big, they start getting kind of silly. These might be all right. These might be right on the edge, but so we have custom dice. We have five. We have two for each faction. Well, that's interesting. We have two for each faction. We have four decks of cards: so blue, green, orange, and brown. So the purple is. It looks to be, according to this, is a generic enemies dice. So there's just enemies in quotes. So it's just generic enemies. So, uh, so cool. Let's text, test them, make sure they work. They do. A 
little indulgent here, sorry. Yeah, these are pretty these are a pretty decent size. I like that they have the rounded corners on them too. So that makes them not just be like clunk, you know. They actually have a little bit of roll to them. So very, very cool there. Alright, and now let's open up the board and take a look at that. We are looking at the board here for Plains Indian Wars. You want to say Indians Wars, Plains Indian Wars. And this is the map here. Take a look at it. So it's a kind of an abstracted um, uh, representation of the area. So we come down here, we've got going toward Mexico. It's not, it's just to Mexico, I guess, because here you've got Phoenix or Arizona uh, and the other states, New Mexico and, and such are, are kind of like shortened here. And then, uh, so here's Dallas. And given the time period, here is the Oklahoma, where the wind comes sweeping down the plain. We got Dodge City, Kansas. Kansas City's up here. Uh, Wichita's over here somewhere. The Arkansas River. So where I'm at in Tulsa is right here. This bend, I believe, of the Arkansas River. And there's the Ozark Mountains. I'm not trying to give you a geography lesson. I'm just trying to get you to get your bearings here, because these are regions. These aren't. These don't correspond necessarily to states because we're all the way here at Utah now, Salt Lake City, uh, Denver, Colorado. But you've obviously got areas here. There's the Southern Plains tribes, their ready box. This goes, the train goes to San Sacramento. And then you've got the Northern Plains tribes ready box, the cavalry and Indian enemies box. That was that purple we were looking at. And then over here, obviously, the Settlers and Wagon Trains Ready Box. Casualties, victory points, casualties, victory points. So obviously, if you're playing two-player, I would assume that once one is playing the Settlers and the Cavalry, and then the other is playing the two, uh, two factions of the Native Americans. And then they just go to town. But it's beautiful. It has a very uh, vintage uh, feel to it. Very, very nice. I do like it. Let's see, we got credit here to our solitaire developer was Etienne Michaud, and I apologize if I've mispronounced that as well. Anyway, these are the different regions that are marked West S3, WS4, WS5. So, all the way up here to South Dakota, Canada. Up at the top, Yellowstone River, Little Bighorns there somewhere, there it is. And Bozeman, Montana. So that is the board, and we're going to fold that up and take a look at everything, do a recap of everything that you get in the box. Alright, so if you pick up a copy of Plains Indian Wars from GMT Games, designed by John Poniski, you are going to get the uh, 10 dice, custom dice, plastic, uh, you're going to get that uh, bag of wooden cubes and uh, discs. You're going to get four decks of action cards. You're going to get a draw bag. That board we looked at. One reference card. A rule book. 16 page rule book. 16 page solitaire rule book. And a nice big three inch box. And that is everything that's going to come in Plains Indian Wars from GMT Games. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. With the bang and the boom.